Hey guys, today we're going to learn about creating an infographic using the alpha tool in Keynote. So let's get started. I'm going to start by opening Keynote and I'm going to select a white background. I'm going to delete the, well, I'm going to delete one of the text boxes. One of the text boxes I'm still going to use and the reason why I'm going to keep this text box is because we're just going to make up some arbitrary data. Um, so let's say we want to create an infographic about the percentage of time spent on each subject at school. So we'll say maths <coughs> is 20%, English is 20%, and because at the Chinese International School here, we do Chinese, that's 20%, IS is 15%, that's integrated studies. What else can we select? Uh, of course, there's art. That can be 6%. P, PE, 10%. And uh, music, 9%. Let's just check here. We've got 20, 40, 60, 75, 81, 91, 100. That's perfect. So that's that's basically how we spend our time for the week. Now, what I've done is I've just, if you see on my desktop there, there's a little silhouette of a boy. And that's the boy that's been doing all this, this work in this classroom. And he's the boy that we're going to re represent in the infographic. Now, <clears throat> what I'd like to do is I'd like to color him in so that 20% of him is colored in. And we can represent that 20% with mass. 20% will be English, 20% will be Chinese, 15% IS, 6% art, and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool here that was just called the alpha tool. I've selected the image, I click on alpha, and I'm going to alpha the color that is the boy, the black color there. And I just click on it, and that color becomes transparent. That means we can see through it. We then take a shape like this one here, this bluey, there's a bit of gray in there, and we put it in front, and then we right click and send to the back. And now that shape is behind my image. Now watch when I drag this all the way down. You can see my bluey gray shape behind uh, my original image. Now you, when you, when you take away that shape you can't tell that there's white in that image but when you put it over you can and our black boy our black colored boy has gone he's disappeared so what we then do is we we want to make this color here roughly 20 percent so i'm going to look there which is one fifth so we'll do about that much now he's going to represent maths and to be honest that bluey gray color isn't a great math color because math is a much more exciting subject than that. So we're going to change that to a nice vibrant blue like that. That's our math color. Okay, I just want to bring that out a little bit more. I can't bring it out too far or else it sticks out beyond my image. Right, so that's maths. Uh, I now want to do English. So I'm going to grab another shape and I want to also make English around 20% I may have to just bring this guy up a little bit and there he is again again I want to change this color because it is a dull gray blue color and I'm going to change English to a nice pink <clears throat> so I'll just double click on that And it's not going to work for me right now. Why is that? Let's just delete that and try again. And let's just change this to color fill. And go to pink. There we go. Not sure why that didn't work. And then I'm going to put that on there. Right click, cent right click center back. And here we go. There's my the graphic. Or, or there's my 
sorry, my English percentage. Let's just move this guy up a little bit. Just a fraction. You can adjust these all at the end. And uh, then I'll do go through all this list, take my data, and I'll put, put it in to the rest of the image. And <clears throat> each color would represent something else. And then I'd perhaps just add a text box in here and put it over the top of the blue and just show that this is maths. And then I'd put another text box in and double click and say this is English. And I might just have to just shrink that text a little bit. There we go, English. And so on and so forth. And I go right down so that my whole My whole guy will be colored in. Uh, this whole color here is, is going to be um, made up of the different subjects. So I'll, I'll add a different color for each subject. So Chinese would go across here. It would be a smaller section for IS, quite a small section for art, small section for P, and so on. So that is how you create an infographic uh, using the alpha tool in Keynote. Enjoy.